So my research looked at the involvement of romantic partners in the prostate cancer treatment decision process. Our goal was to design a curriculum to teach these students how to diagnose and manage arrhythmias. And I was doing research up at the USDA Animal Parasitic Diseases Laboratory. Usually when we look at tobacco cessation, we focus mainly on tobacco success. And so by flipping it in a way and looking at, well, what about those who don't necessarily have the same success? What are some of those factors that are hindering um, their ability to do so? so? I did research in the literature about how other safety net medical clinics can find that care and tried to figure out how the Bridge to Care Clinic can better improve our patients' quality of care. We did a community assessment project looking at um, fall preventions at home. Um, for the elderly. We had a significant increase in people who would say they'd be much more interested in looking at drug pricing online. Having a community health worker program, someone from the community go to the patient at home has a lot of impact on the patient itself. What are their behaviors that indicate that they are, um, they have been triggered, and then what has worked in the past to decrease the anxiety? It has the highest health disparities of all of the wars within D.C., um, but the majority of the population does have health insurance and they are actively seeking health care. These cigarette dual users, so they use both e-cigarette and cigarette at the same time, they have a higher reduction of uh, cigarette usage after over time, but it doesn't necessarily help them quit smoking. Having the partner involved in the process potentially is um, an avenue that healthcare providers may be able to um, use as a way to have a better patient-centered relationship. Um, I got to work with the National Cancer Institute, so that was huge. I uh, didn't know that being in the MPH program was going to give me that opportunity, but I was glad that I had it. It's really, um, it's a really um, very good example of translating the research and translating the regulation and uh, all of the standards in the, in the real life, in the clinical setting. Yeah, my experience was great. It was really nice working with my mentor and learning about monoclonal neuropathy and disease progression, how you monitor for that. I've been part of this mission for two years, so each year my colleagues go to Honduras and place these devices. So my experience in this study is very joyful. I've had really great mentorship here at GW. Um, I've really enjoyed working alongside the attendings, the fellows, the residents. Um, it's been a really great atmosphere for me here. I have learned more about working with RNA than I ever thought was possible. Um, it was a really great experience and I made, um, you know, I've just learned a lot about how to be a real professional scientist and how to ask those hard questions. I think it's great to see how nursing can really bridge into research. Um, as a new to the nursing field, I never really realized that that was an option.